Hey beer tubers, Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me once again. We're gonna look at a beer I got in a trade from YouTube user Monkey Caveman. And that is from Hub, Hopworks Urban Brewery. And this is their seven grain stout. Now, uh, Hub is up in Portland, Oregon, but for some reason, I, don't, I just can't remember seeing their beers around here. This is a survival seven grain stout because they are using some interesting ingredients in this beer. They're using traditional malted barley, wheat, oats, amaranth, quinoa, spelt, and kamut as far as the grain bill goes. And then they finish it with some cold press organic uh, coffee in there. So it's also a 5.3% you know, sessionable stout. So it sounds like a really interesting beer. 35 IBUs, 15 degrees Play-Doh. Uh, just really interesting beer. A few people have been reviewing it. Let's get this thing cracked open. Just based on the reviews I've seen, it sounds like a really interesting beer. And I forgot to also mention, this is all organic beer. In fact, all of Hub, Hub's beers are organic. Pours a dark, Oh, it's kind of borderline mahogany. I mean, it's it's a clear beer. It's pretty dark. Got a little over two fingers of a light tan head, mostly small bubbles. Uh, let's get the aroma on it. It it smells grainy, but in a good way. They're using all these unique grains. Um, getting some roasted character. You know, some of that coffee notes for sure. Slight bit of dark chocolate in there as well, but um, some sort of sweeter, the sweeter grain notes, like some breadiness, um, some kind of biscuity kind of character, somewhere in that range as far as the malt character goes, maybe a touch of caramel on there as well. So uh, we're ready to give this a shot. Cheers. Oh wow, a lot of mouthfeel for such a low ABV beer. Up front you get some bitterness. Um, I mean 35 IBUs, it's, it's not too hoppy, but I mean there's definitely some hops in there, but get some um, kind of like roasty, kind of maybe playing off the roasted malts and the, and the coffee kind of bitterness up front. And then it smooths out real nicely. Um, big roasted notes. Uh, little bits of chocolate in there as well and then it finishes with the coffee. You definitely pick up most of the coffee in the end and kind of once it goes down at the back of the tongue. That's when those, the coffee they're using really comes into play and you get those nice coffee notes. Also towards the end, kind of after the, uh, the kind of roast with slight bits of chocolate, maybe a hint of caramel in there, you start to kind of pick up some of those grain notes, and which is interesting because I really haven't tried very many of these. But you almost have a, a little touch of like a sweeten like sweetness, almost like a corn, and then it kind of goes biscuity, bready, kind of character going on as well. Like you can't really, I can't really pick out the individual grains, but you can definitely tell there's oats in there because it's real creamy. Once you get over that initial bitterness, it's really creamy on the finish. And it has a ton of mouthfeel for a low ABV beer, as I mentioned. Now the head died down, but I was able to kind of swirl up a, a one finger head. One thing I'm starting to notice is this beer, uh, for me, is a little highly carbonated for a nice session stout. I'd like to see uh, less carbonation in there. Because I think that kind of plays up the bitterness up front of the tongue when you initially drink it. And I think with this beer, as you let it sit out and swirl it around, get more of that CO2 out. It's going to get even even kind of creamier and smoother on the palate. Yeah, already I can taste that initial kind of bitterness is kind of gone. So you might want to pour this one, let it sit out, uh, swirl it around, and, you know, let it warm up a little bit too if you have it too cold. It's a, it's a really nicely brewed beer, especially for an organic beer. The, some really good flavors going on. Those grains kind of add an interesting component in there. It's not like overly present, but it's kind of the really nice background notes. Uh, definitely the coffee's at the forefront that they used in this one. Uh, really nice sessionable stout from Hub. It's my first Hub beer too, so 
That's a good start. I'm going to go A- minus on this one. It, it, it's an excellent brewed beer, um, especially for a low ABV style, which you typically don't see a lot of in, in craft beers these days. So they're really hard to find, really hard to brew, and this one has some uniqueness to it. If you're not a huge fan of coffee in your stouts, then you might want to stay away from this one because it definitely goes a little more roasty coffee with the flavors. But I, I do like that, and I think they brewed a really, really nice uh, session stout. So next time, please come subscribe. Cheers.